Hey there, Gamer Obscure here, continuing Earthbound. We're through the tutorial, more or less. It's really not a tutorial, it doesn't really teach you a whole lot. But the introduction with the meteorite and all that stuff, the real adventure begins. And already getting into a battle here. We've seen the snake. We've seen the snake, but I'll show this battle just because they're not that strong. And why not? The episode just started. I don't want to be cutting stuff out already. But the beginning of this game is pretty tough. And you actually have to do a fair bit of grinding if you want to survive. And that's a big reason why I don't like RPGs a lot. Is they can get pretty grindy. This one isn't that bad. Except in the early stages of the game. So there's going to be a lot of time spent while I'm recording this episode that you're not going to see. Because I'm hoping to get through the first real boss. I mean, the Starman Jr. was kind of a boss, but Buzz Buzz did all the work. We gotta fight a boss all by ourselves, and he can be pretty tough. I think you want to be like level 7 or 8 when you go fight him, unless you want to be really hard, and I think I'm only level 2 or 3 right now, so we're gonna have some grinding to do, and to be honest, even the area around the boss is really dangerous because there's some pretty powerful enemies and they'll gang up on you and they'll just they'll just knock you out so fast. But anyways, we got Mr. Baseball Cap and I see a dog here. We've not seen a dog yet. So here's a battle I can feel good about showing. But yeah, the Mr. Baseball Cap, it's in that little hidden house. It's a little bit better than the one you can buy in town. Not by much, but every little bit counts at this stage in the game, so try to remember that house is there. And you'll be alright. Here's a little mole man popping out of the ground, prairie dog, and... Oh my goodness, he's... He's your average run-of-the-mill mole. And he gives you a hint on fighting enemies, but I don't really want to do it. I don't feel like reading all that stuff. So, you know what? Why don't I head into town? Because I do have some money. I do have some money, so we can probably buy a better weapon. And all that stuff... You do all that stuff at the drugstore, I think it's called. Like, you got burger shops. Well, here, I can just look at the map. So there's, like, food. There's, like, burger shops, pizzas, stuff like that. We have a hotel. That's where you can save your games. You know, your typical inn. A hospital. If your guys faint, you have to go to the hospital and pay to get them revived. And that's not cheap. It's not cheap, let me tell you. So do whatever you can to keep your people alive. So anyways, this is how I do this. So we're gonna go to the ATM, and I just withdraw everything. And then we go to the counter. Because there's nothing worse than seeing what he has for sale, and then seeing you can't afford it. So... I just take everything out. We'll buy the T-ball bat, and we like, equip it here. So, pretty good boost to the offense. And then we can also sell him the crack bat that we don't need right away. And now let's see... What do I need? The yo-yo. That's for someone else. See the baseball cap. And if you'll notice, like, the cheap bracelet, when I go on that, it's blinking around Ness's info there. That means it's an upgrade. So the baseball cap is not an upgrade, because I have the Mr. Baseball cap. So the cheap bracelet, I can't afford it. So I'm just going to put all my money back in the bank. And then we're going to have to go... No, I didn't want to withdraw, man! Put all my money back in the bank. And then we're going to have to go grinding on some enemies for a while. And really, I'm just going to do laps around town. But I have to stay away from the southern end, because that's where the really powerful dudes are. So... I'm probably not going to go over there until I'm like level 5. Maybe 6. We'll just see. We'll see how bored I get of grinding. But I'm just going to kind of go in a big loop, follow this path, go around this building, and fight whatever shows up. And it's all just dogs, crows, and snakes. We're not going to see anything new. Hey! Yeah, it's an insta-kill. When you get strong enough, if you're strong enough, like if you outspeed an enemy and one bash will take it out, you don't even have to fight the thing. You just instantly win. Nah, I mean, that only works if the enemy's pretty weak, and that snake only gave me one experience point. Which is kind of a bummer. 
but we're not gonna see anything new for a while, so I'll just cut to... Well, when I level up and stuff. But other than that, pretty much more or less just see when I'm ready to take on the... the sharks or whatever they're called. They look like they're wearing gimp suits. Hey, we're level four now. Offense went up by four. Oh, baby, guts went up by three. That's what I was talking about. If it goes up by more than it normally would, it's like, oh, baby, or that rocks. And we got Hypnosis Alpha, so we can put enemies to sleep. Ooh, the butterfly, that's right. Shit, the dog. Ah, that butterfly, that thing better still be there. What that does, I might not even need it, but you'll be running around, and it becomes important later on in the game when you're using a lot of your magic and you're desperate for PP, the butterfly recovers 20 PP to, I think, all of your party members. So it's not a lot, but there's times where you need it, because PP healing items are very few and far between in this game. Pretty much you gotta rest at the inn, or the inn equivalent for the area you're at, or find those butterflies. So when you see those, you wanna make a beeline to them, if you can. Sometimes they're in pretty dangerous areas, crawling with enemies, but whatever. We still got some more grinding to do, so I'll see you in a little bit. Here we go, we're level five. We're at level five, and I think, I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough to at least start fighting the guys outside of the arcade, because that's where the boss is. He's in this arcade, and the area outside is just crawling with these little dudes in gimp suits. They're the sharks, the police were talking about them. In the previous episode, oh my god, oh my god, you don't want more than one of them coming at you though. So if you can kind of kite them away, you, you only have to fight them one at a time. But even, oh shit, yeah, see sometimes they still call for help. And whenever you find an enemy that calls for help, that's the one you want to take out first. Cause like, I could take out that pogo dude, but in the meantime the skate dude's just gonna call for more help. So, just beware. Even worse is when the enemy that calls for help calls an enemy that calls for help, and soon you're fighting like six of these assholes. <laughs> it's just crazy. You can get totally overrun in a hurry. But yeah, you want to lure these guys away. Because even when you encounter them, the game gives the enemies a certain amount of time to start ganging up on you, and you'll, you'll see guys coming from off screen to help out the enemy you encountered. So you really want to be careful around here, because these guys, these guys don't mess around. They're pretty powerful. Now, I think these ones are just scripted battles, and I don't think they're going to gang up on me, so... No, I don't want Frank to beat me up. I don't want you to beat me up either. I really don't want anyone to beat me up. Why would you want someone to beat you up? Hey! Yes. Yes, a critical hit. And these guys actually give some decent experience here. Hey, and a hamburger. That's good. I got a bunch of cookies from all the damn crows. And then the dogs started giving me bread rolls. So those are nice. And I have life up alpha, which is just a basic healing spell. So that's something nice. Ooh, shredding on a skateboard. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. And you don't want to get too low on hit points. So actually, I'm going to... I'm just going to eat a bunch of these cookies because they only do six. <laughs> they only recover six HP, so I don't need my inventory clogged up with these stupid cookies. I mean, it's kind of nice. That one, only, that one only gave me five. It's always approximate. So that one's six. And I think I can even have one more without getting maxed out. So we're, we're pretty close there, I think. But here's more police. You can't get through. Might as well talk to some of the townsfolk. Wait, he stops reading each bulletin board he encounters, and he says, check a Rooney? No, that's not me, but it could become me. Maybe I'll start doing that. Check a Rooney. What the hell, man? Yeah, on its claim to fame is the road being closed. It's also these assholes in their gimp suits blocking the delivery trucks. All right, let's lure this guy away from those other ones. Otherwise, they'll, they'll come over here. They have enough time. I was going to say, you might see one running from the end of the screen to try and get over in time, but not quite make it. And the Yes Man Jr. I look at him. He's like... <laughs> who the hooping guy in a gimp suit? What the hell, man? Such a strange game. 
But that's part of what makes it so great. It's so memorable, because it's just so weird sometimes. What does this guy have to say? What? You want to meet our boss, Frank? He's in the backyard. Oh yeah, I can see him up there. He's thinking about peace and love? Yeah, right. That guy's a jerk. Alright, I don't know where that gimp suit guy went. He snuck away while I was talking to this other dude. I definitely at least want to be level 6. Where is everybody? Normally this place is just crawling with those shark guys. And it's so easy to get your butt kicked. Maybe it's because I took these two out? And actually, let's check the trash can. Got a can of fruit juice! That's pretty nice. Alright, here's a guy. We'll fight him. And also, you might have caught a glimpse. You might have caught a glimpse of Frank's robot. Because we'll have to fight that thing, too. And that's kind of what I'm hoping to do in this episode, is take out Frank and his robot. But we'll just see. We'll just see. Can I get one more level? No! Alright, as soon as I get to level 6, we'll go into the arcade. So we'll just see in a bit. Oh no, we got the surprise attack. But... There's two guys coming out here now. Shoot. Let's get rid of Yes Man Jr. if we can. I, I feel like he's a little more dangerous with his hula hoop. But I mean, Pogo Punk's no slouch either. And I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I'm going to level up after this battle. Because I only needed 30 experience points, and I fought two guys already. So, ooh, do I get a hamburger? Heck yes, and there we are, level 6. Level 6. Heck to the yes, HP... Man, that wasn't that great of a level. Didn't really increase my stats all that much. So, I'm gonna drink the can of fruit juice. That doesn't do a whole lot. Because I look... Do you, if, you, if you go to the item, you say, help! It'll tell you what it does. It's like you recover about 50 hit points. That's 100% beef, that's nice. So anyways, oh shoot! You know what? I bet I have more than enough to afford the cheap bracelet now. Don't forget that. Every little bit of defense is gonna help out here. Because, I mean, those hula hoop dudes, they were doing about 15 damage. Swinging their damn hula hoop around. So let's go to the drugstore, get money out of the bank, buy that cheap bracelet, and then we'll go into the arcade. And it doesn't take long to get to F Frank, his name is, I think they said. Look how much money I have, holy balls. In fact, I'm only gonna take out 300 bucks, because I don't need all of it. Come in, come in, I'm already in. Unless he's referring to something else. Oh, God, Gam, don't. Don't even, but look at that, my defense went from 10 to 15. That is nice. That is big. So, let's put the rest of our money away. Because we really don't need it. You know, and if, if you get a game over... If you get a game over, I think you lose half your money. That's pretty common in RPGs. I think that's how it works anyways. I feel like most RPGs, like, you retain all the experience you gained, but any items you picked up and stuff, you lose those. And half your money goes with them. So, I want to avoid those guys. So let's just make our way into the arcade. Just this game. Yeah, let's get our butts in here. And I mean, as you can see, there's more dudes walking around. It was you! You beat up my buddy, didn't you? You'd better just beat it! Beat it! That's just a little pogo punk. No big deal. But only eight damage there. That normally would have been almost double. So that cheap bracelet, definitely helping out here. And we got a hamburger. It's definitely good. Just talk to all these guys. Uh huh. Uh -huh. What do you mean? What do you mean? I, I don't. I'm not a whiner. You're a whiner. No, don't call me a whiner. What the hell, man? Come back after you finish Earthbound. Okay, maybe I don't want to be a member. Don't be such a snob. And now he wants to fight you. That's pretty funny. So let's see. Yeah, one HP from a regular attack. What happens if he swings his hula hoop? I don't get to find out. Swing your hula hoop! I actually want you to do your strong attack! So I can see how much of a difference that cheat bracelet really made. Now the only question is... I'm pretty sure if I go out those doors, that's where you fight Frank. So... He's got an incredibly powerful weapon. Dang. I think, I, I think you're talking about his robot thing. I like drinking tea and eating vegetables. <laughs> oh man. Ew. Gross. 
When you buy an item that should be equipped, do you bother to actually equip it? Well, of course I do. What the hell? Wait, ready? Get it on, Spanky? Let's get it on! And don't get eliminated. Yeah, the skate punk only doing one. It did one! We're totally ready for Frank. Maybe level six is good enough if you're properly equipped. All right, you need to get out of my way, sir. Just barely edged around him. So let's see, I want to go in there with full health. I think the bread roll isn't a total waste. Yeah, let's do it. Frank, you're mine. Let's talk to him. I'm, I'm Frank. You are? Come on, can't you at least say your name? Yes! And you, <laughs> you get the sweet boss music here. It's, oh shit. My guts went down. That's not good. It went down again. He's gonna swing his knife. There he goes. I only did nine? Hot damn. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. That was nothing. Now the robot. The robot's gonna be much tougher. But maybe I was wrong. Maybe you don't need to be level seven or eight. Maybe it's like level five or six. But now this thing does some pretty strong attack here. Does this burst of steam. Threw a punch, 14? That's not so bad. I think we can withstand one more. Cause it's always generating bursts of steam. Ooh, it tore into me, shit. All right, hold on. So now we definitely, definitely need to heal here. Yeah, burst of steam, 49 hit points. You always get another turn here, but hang on. We gotta play this smart. So I'm gonna have another hamburger. That's fine. Max out. Threw a punch. We can withstand one more punch. Shit, I missed! Alright, so we attacked. And it was destroyed! Holy crap! That's so much easier than I ever remembered it to be. What the balls, man. What the hell? This is my first defeat. Fail-proof Frank is not just failure, Frank. Oh no! Oh no. Giant step. Yeah, that's where we're going. That's our next real destination here. Oh man, a monster sucked up all the energy. Dun dun dun. We gotta collect more information. The entrance to the path is behind the touring entertainer shack. Purple. The mayor of Ana has a key. So we gotta go to the town hall. And our adventure is just beginning. Do I get to fight these guys again? No? Alright. Maybe they don't wanna fight me. And that might be the case. We might get to see this now. Well, I don't see any of the sharks running around anyways. So we gotta find the town hall. Get the key to the mayor. Not the key to the mayor. What does it even mean, key to the mayor? No, key from the mayor. Good lord, Gam. What are you saying? We'll get the key, and then I think we'll save and call it a day. Oh man, I don't even know where the mayor's office is. I think it's over here. Take me to your leader. Mayor Perkle. I, I keep thinking it says Pickle, but it's clearly Perkle. Oh, hello, officer. Is this the- this one's the mayor. Well, hold on, show some respect. We'll talk to him from the front of the desk. Hey, hey, hey! I'm Mayor Fat Albert. No, B.H. Perkle. We punched him out big time, kicked their butts, bit their- I didn't- I didn't do that. I, I may- I may have made them wet their pants, then you for I can't tell you, that dialogue in this game is just an absolute riot. So, yeah, he's gonna give us the key, we're gonna sign a waiver. And there we go, we got the key to the shack. I don't think you got to see the shack. Well, you probably did when I was walking around explaining how I was gonna grind for a bit. You might have seen two ugly dudes walking around. That's where the shack was. So that's where we're gonna go, but it's gonna have to wait until next time. I'm gonna run to the drugstore and save, and that's gonna do it for this episode. So I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.